guys have you ever watched Terminator now if you have watched Terminator um, you're probably kind of skeptical to those you know robots and things like that and you don't believe that we will have things like that in the future of course I mean who who believes in you know these kinds of things well Google is testing out self-driving cars and yeah that's kind of scary um, they are using a artificial intelligent robot in the cars and the cars basically drive themselves and this is not the normal Google Street View um, car that is you know are everywhere and take pictures and so you can watch them in Google Street View no this is actually a real self-driven car um, you can see here on the picture a Google engineer and they are trying this car out and yeah so let's just talk a little bit about the positive things about this and um, you know negative things okay so some you know Google people that are pretty optimistic about this think we will see something like this in 10 to 15 years some even say eight years but hey I would say we are going to see more things like this I mean reaching out to the consumers around it's hard to predict but not not in 20 years more maybe 40 50 60 because really just think about it this self-driving car that means that everyone will have to use a car like this to you know have this whole system to work right um, uh, but some positive things that we can say if everyone started using cars like this uh, would be that we will be able to transfer ourselves to point A to B much quicker because the cars would be able to um, will be able to drive in a very close distance um, from one another um, and they would also be able to react much quicker in a situation where humans may be in danger I know it's kind of funny um, and also you know the car will have a sensor here at the top and that will you know be able to have a camera around the whole car so your car will be able to know everything that's going on around it and it will never be drunk it's not you know being sleepy or texting while driving so that's kind of epic um, but yeah some bad things about this is of course that it's cars and let's say you know it's Google that is making this so we have to think about Android and Android is still buggy and YouTube page is still buggy and if a company can't make a web page to work um, how are they going to make artificial intelligent cars to work in a real world I mean that's just scary just just think about it um, and you know it will also a very bad thing about this is you need a GPS of you know all the world or everywhere you go you need to really update the GPS because this robot is obviously following the GPS and if a new road they build a new road or whatever um, this maybe GPS may not have that road and that will you know your car, car will kind of fail uh, then but there is one good thing about this car and that is the red button um, once you hit the red button in the car you will be able to steer the car because um, you need to have a human in the car obviously you can't just uh, make a AI car just go and buy milk you need to have a person in the car that it will you know have the control of everything and if you hit that red button you will be able to brake you will be able to steer the car uh, but yeah kind of cool we have a big red button to you know press in emergence, emergency situations um, but yeah uh, if this is you know calm in the future um, I hope they don't get you know blue screen because like I can see in the news in the future we will have all of these kinds of weird cars um, AI cars that will you know get some blue screens and people will die uh, but yeah cars not long time 
until we have a whole terminator world with only robots everywhere because car is a big thing in our lives okay this quick video about that if you like the video please comment, rate, subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye